Hello! We have a big announcement today. So, the games such as Steampunk, Idle Spinner, Engineer Millionaire, and 20,000 Cogs Under the Sea, the Windows versions are available for modifications. So, you as players can create graphical mods for them. So, I will show you how this works. Here we launch Steampunk Idle Spinner, their version. And you can start the game normally, or you can select the mod. As a sample, there is a black and white mod available. You can select it, then start the game. And now you see all the game objects are black and white. And not only objects, but also the enterprise. So how does it work? And one more, I want to show you if you go to credits, you will see the mod author here. So if you create a mod, you will also list it here as the mod, mod creator. So I will explain how you can create your own mods for the game. In this folder, in the folder of Steampunk Idle Spinner, which you can download uh, for free from each.io, from Airport each.io, uh, there is a subfolder called mods and here is a subfolder called sample mod uh, this subfolder contains info json file which uh, describes mod name black and white author general description all worlds are black and white and version version is needed uh, if you want to update your mod so that the players can compare and select the newest version. And how does the mod look like? Uh, in the data folder of the game, there is a standard graphics. Uh, the files called merged art. Uh, there are files for each of the game worlds. So here it is the workshop world graphics. Here it is uh, the a clockwork city world graphics and here it is a uh, uh, floating islands graphics so i copied uh, these folders to the mod folder to sample mod and i just modified them made grayscale and the game now looks at them as a grayscale mode we can launch the game and we can start like another world it will also will be black and white uh, except the background because uh, the backgrounds are colored uh, inside the game code so the color of the backgrounds mostly are selected uh, with the game variables so but all the foreground elements we can modify so let's now create with you another mod we can go to mods let's create a mod which will i don't know which will change uh, the visuals of the balloons we we'll go to mod we we'll go to Let's call new balloons. So we need info JSON. We modify it. We will call it. Let's call it this balloons, and we will say graphics of balloons is changed uh, so the balloons exist only in the world 4 in the uh, workshop world so we can just copy folder number 4 from the original and we can open it with uh, paint.net so this is how the texture atlas looks like uh, you can use any other uh, 
image uh, editing tool just provided it has uh, it keeps uh, the transparency so let's find the balloons here so this is uh, the balloon uh, which uh, is in the game and these parts are also animations of uh, different phases of blowing the balloons so let's uh, maybe change the yellow color to some pink one it's too much I will just change it this way also I will do it for the balloon creation animations and we have one more here and let's do it make it orange and like this okay and the shade yeah so we have now changed the color of the balloon so we save this image and I think uh, everything is done so we have this updated matched art in the subfolder number four just like this info exists it is new balloons folder and let's launch steampunk idle spinner We can select mod, new balloons. We should select the world where the balloons are. Start. And here we go. Orange balloons instead of yellow. Look at them. Ah, oh, I missed one uh, creation phase frame. You see, they first created yellow and then they turned to orange. So I will update. Also, I can uh, change this graphics part of the balloon, the cabin. So let's exit. Let's open the merged art again. So where are them? Ah, here we go. And I think one was somewhere else so I will just pick the color From here to here, okay. And let's find ah, so there's our balloon chains. We can make them red, for example. That'll be this way. We can also draw something extra, like some more connections. Yeah, and this is the cabin. I can make it red too. Okay, and we'll select this one as brighter lighter red yeah something like this 
Okay, so now I save this. I can also go to mods, new balloons, and I will change info to version 101. And now I can launch Steampunk Idle Spinner. Uh, this can't be changed because this is the logo, but if we select new balloons 101, <coughs> yeah, start. So now we see that the balloon cabins are red, and we have, I think I missed one more balloon. Uh, one, yeah. I missed one more balloon here, but okay, you, you've got the idea. Uh, one more thing uh, which you can do is that you can use... Uh, ah, here it is. Well, let's do it. Let's make it this way. So this is like a uh, basic modding, uh, but you can also use other tools uh, such as Adobe Shoebox or Texture pack Packer or whatever. Uh, it's possible and to first to cut uh, this texture atlas this matched out PNG into uh, separate images. So here is the file which contains information it is needed. To, so which frame represents what. Then you can modify these images, even draw uh, your own, even change the sizes uh, of the images, and then you can upload them again and uh, create your own uh, graphics for for steampunk idle spinner create your own mod so so you can cut automatically uh, you can automatically cut all these files into a sing, uh, into separate files modify them and then you can uh, change them uh, again and s launch a game again so this will be version one zero two. All right. So yeah, here we go. Have this uh, red chains, red cabin, orange balloon. And they behave like that. Okay, where can you uh, upload your mods? So you can create your account on each.io, like uh, I have a report each.io. You can upload your account here, create your own account here, and you can uh, create new submission here. Just I will show you how it works. So on each.io, you when you register under your name, you can select Upload New Project. Uh, then you can set that this is a mod. Uh, then make sure to give the link to the uh, original game to which you are making the mod. And for upload files, you will just need to upload the, the modified folder. So... So the, the contents of your mods folder. So this is, uh, let me show you. Well, ju just this folder, you spread, uh, you can zip and upload here. And there is also a website, ModDB. You can go to mod, add mod. And also first you need to register at the website. And then you can upload the mod to Steampunk Idle Spinner to... Uh, to engineer millionaire and to 20,000 cogs under the sea, you can upload the mods uh, to this website and also to other websites. So I invite you to our Discord channel.
there is a mods channel. I've just created it with instructions. And you are welcome to join the discussion. And good luck to you.